Samsung Electronics Co. reported on Friday its first profit drop since 2019, further stressing the severity of a global slump in PC and memory chip demand. The company said its third quarter operating profit came in at 10.8 trillion won, that's 7.6 billion US dollars, down 32% from the 15.8 trillion won generated in the same period last year, while sales came in at 76 trillion won to register a quarter on quarter drop of 1.5% but a year-on-year -year gain of 2.7%. The Bitcoin hash rate was up to a fresh all-time high after seeing a 13.5% increase during the latest difficulty adjustment. While the world's largest cryptocurrency by market value has traded below $20,000, the adjustment continued to climb from the lows of August 2021, reaching an all-time high of $35.61 trillion on Monday after a period where six blocks were solved consecutively. The UK's unemployment rate declined to its lowest since 1974, as people leaving the labour market and not seeking a job rose to a record high, further increasing the Bank of England's or BOE's concerns about inflation. The government stated that unemployment in the UK dropped 3.5% in the three months to August, the lowest level since 1974, with the number of inactive individuals rising to 252,000 from the three months to May, the largest surge since records started in 1971. The US dollar hit a fresh 24-year high against the Japanese yen on Wednesday, trading above levels that led authorities of Tokyo to perform an intervention in September when the safe haven currency dropped to 145.90 per dollar. The greenback rose as high as 146.39 yen in the Asian trade, the first time the dollar reached that level since August 1998, while the US dollar index climbed 0.1% to $113.35. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, or TSMC Limited, saw its net profit rise 80% in the third quarter, its strongest surge in two years, as it posted solid sales of its high-tech chips for data centers and electric vehicles, or EVs. The world's most advanced chipmaker stated that its net profit climbed to 280.9 billion Taiwanese dollars, or 8.81 billion US dollars, in the three months ending September 30th, with revenue for the quarter gaining 36% to $20.23 billion.